What we're able to do is we're able to create raw milk using cells from mammals. What's exciting is we can actually do that with mammals from bovine, goats, sheep, camels, and so much more. The problem that we wanted to solve right from the beginning was how do we get to high value products like yogurt, cheese, butter, because we know that the plant-based products have done a marvelous job at doing fluid products like almond milk or uh, and oat milk. But we do know that that hasn't been able to translate over very well to the majority of the market. I mean, it's a $700 billion market. We are the first company in the world that can actually use cells to create raw milk. We are able to actually capture cells right from the milk itself. Put these cells in an environment where they are able to mix with this lactation media. These cells adhere to the outside of these long tubes. They look like tiny little straws. These straws are able to actually have the media pass through them, and from the other end, we're able to have milk that flows out of it. And if you can imagine thousands of these different straws instead of a giant tank, what you really have is a continuous flow of milk coming out. That is exciting, and that is the future of how milk is going to be created. The existing dairy industry is unsustainable. It's putting out 37% of the methane and greenhouse gases. It's also consuming a vast amount of resources. This can't go on, especially if we're looking to feed another billion people on this planet. We need to come up with other technologies that can give us the same thing that we're looking for, but without polluting so much. We know that we want to make a huge impact globally. Very quickly, what we found is the dairy industry is massive. If we try to do this ourselves, we will be stuck in one corner of the world, churning out milk for a very small market. We can work with the biggest dairy companies in the world because that's really how you transform uh, this entire industry is from the, from the inside. Although we are able to make the milk even today, it's important to recognize that we have to go through regulatory. We have to work with our partners, these dairy conglomerates that we are working with. So we anticipate that uh, it'll be about 18 to 24 months before you see some products. One of the things that we've realized through this COVID period is just how sensitive these supply chains are. Using our technology, if you can just imagine, you can actually have bioreactors or these giant steel tanks that can be dropped into any city, any part of the world. And as long as you have fresh water and electricity, you can have access to fresh milk. I can see a future where we don't have to rely on these supply chains. We can actually provide milk to folks without all of this massive carbon footprint and be able to do it in a re with a reasonable price. We've seen other companies do something very similar in the meat space. We've seen consumers push more for cruelty-free products. We've seen them push towards reducing the greenhouse gases. So these types of products enable us to actually get what we're already used to. We can get real milk, we can get real meat without having to harm the planet and harm the animals. So this is the future. 